I don't know. Let me look into that. Never be afraid to say that to one of your customers. I learned a great lesson early on in my career when I was at a uh, sales training, a week of sales training with a company that I was working for, my first job in outside sales. And it was a rigorous training uh, Monday through Friday. We were kind of sequestered in this hotel and we trained from like seven in the morning till, till 10 at night, breaking down every step of a sale and working on it and drilling on it until we had it perfect. And at the end of the week, they had a contest to who could, uh, who could perform a sales meeting, uncover the most needs, and close the deal uh, for, for the whole class that was there. And so I was uh, nominated from my group to go head-to-head uh, -head with somebody from, from another group uh, to walk through this, this training exercise. And it was sitting down and doing like a needs, what we call a needs analysis meeting where you, we ask a bunch of questions to uncover needs uh, that, a, that, a, that a customer may have, a prospect may have, that then you can present your solution to them. So as I was going through this exercise, I was going through with like a, like a senior sales director that they brought in to run us through this exercise. And I'd been at the, I mean, I'd been at training for a week uh, and hadn't been at the company before that. So we really trained on the sales process, but didn't really train on product knowledge, right? So I knew just enough around the service side to be able to walk through and do this, do this role play. And so as I was going through it, I was feeling good. I was asking all the questions. I was uncovering needs. Everything was clicking. I was in a zone and things were going, were going great. As I turned around and uh, to start to kind of confirm what those needs were, he threw me a kind of a curveball because he started asking me product questions and pricing questions, which we hadn't been trained on. And so I kind of rolled with it. And instead of saying I didn't know and I would have to look back and look, look into that for him, I tried to sort of BS my way through it, right? I sort of made up an answer on what I thought an answer that sounded good would be. Well, as we got done, and the other person went through the role play, um, I just got hammered on the fact that I made up answers around, around pricing. And I said, well, I didn't know what it was. We'd never been trained on that. And they were just like, you never make up information in front of the customer. If you don't know, you say you don't know, and you go find the answer and, and you get back to them. And so I lost uh, that role play. Uh, and if you know me, I was pissed. I didn't like losing. And I thought I crushed it. Um, and I got more needs than the other person and all that. But as I reflected on it, I did lose that because I didn't say I didn't know. I tried to make up an answer instead of getting the correct answer for the customer in this case. And luckily, I, I discovered all this during a role play, during training, and it's never left me. That lesson has never left me. It's something I've taught to our salespeople as I've trained them and something I always talk about, which is don't be afraid to tell the customer you don't know. Do not make up answers that will discredit you in front, in front of a potential prospect or your customer. Just get the information, get it correctly and get back to them and do it quickly and they'll appreciate it, right? So learn from me. Learn from me of not to make that same mistake. And the other thing is, I'll kind of add on to this a little bit. If you don't do something for the customer, if the customer asks you a question that's not something you can do for them, tell them. Do not hem and haw or try to find a way you could sort of do it, or, or right? All that does is delay the deal. All it does is cloud up what you can do for the customers. What I found in my career is customers respect and appreciate if you tell them you can't do something for them. If there's a product line we can't service, we tell them that we can't service it or that we don't service it. And we'll explain why that we don't. And then we'll explain why we're focused on the other product lines. And that resonates with every customer I've ever been in front of. That's never backfired. They just want to know, and your, and your best customers will thank you and appreciate you and respect you for it. And just say, if you can't do it, just tell me you can't do it. And oftentimes, when I've been in the field uh, with salespeople, and they'll start to hem and haw, and I'll just come up and be like, we don't do that. Here's why, and here's what we focus on. They'll be, and the customer will be like, thank you, appreciate that, moving on. You'll sell more by saying no to the things that you can't do for the customer. Make it clear in their mind, confused customers don't buy, so make it clear for them, all right? So don't be afraid to say you don't know. Find the answer, find it quick, and get back with them. And don't be afraid to tell them if there's certain service or product that you don't do. Just let them know that. They'll appreciate it, all right? Go have fun.